Organic evolution session 10 we are continuing with the evidence of organic evolution kama ambavyo mara kadhaa tumesoma kwenye kwenye different parts of this topic we are continuing uh, the facilitator in this period i am dr mlero an undergraduate student at the mumbi university of health and allied science so there are several lives of evidence that support organic evolution some do suggest a common central origin other show that evolution has really occurred where as other do support speciation kwa hiyo kwenye evidence za organic evolution uh, evidence za organic evolution hapo ni kwamba ni vitu mbalimbali vile vinathibitisha kwamba organism zili zilitokea organism zilitokea baadaye zikaanza ku specialize toka simple kwenda complex na pia a uh, emergency new species emergence ya yeah, new species ambao au new species wali walikuwa wanatokea from pre existing one from pre existing species from pre existing species kwa hiyo tuna about 10 evidence hapo uh, tuna about 10 evidence evidence ni nyingi kwa hiyo ni wewe tu ni wewe tu kwanza tuna comparative embryology tuna paleontology comparative anatomy comparative biochemistry and molecular biology comparative physiology biogeography bio, biogeography or geographic distribution plant and animal breeding and cell breeding tuna taxonomy evidence from comparative serology na adaptive radiation asa twende tu tuone tuone moja moja comparative embryology kwenye comparative embryology tuna compare embryos embryos ni mtoto ambaye anakuwa yuko yuko tumboni uh, yuko tumboni anakuwa yuko tumboni mwa mama anaitwa embryo sasa kwenye comparative embryology ni kwamba walikuja kugundua kwamba embryos za, za kuanzia za binadamu za samaki za ndege za reptiles zote zikiwa katika stage ndogo zinakuwa zinafanana kwa nini zinafanana comparative manake tuna 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 compare tuna compare sa tuna compare sa tuna vuko tuna compare tuna ko tunaangalia jinsi gani zinafanana au zinatofautiana now embryology the study of embryos of organisms it is found that embryos of some related organism show great similarity for example vertebrates such as fish, frog, lizard, bird and man have similar embryos at earliest stage of development. Kwa kwenye kwenye hatua fulani ya maisha au vertebrates wanakuwa na wana yani wanakuwa nafanana katika stage fulani ya development. All embryos have gill slits, long tail and two chambered heart. Gill slit, long tail and two chambered heart. Kwa baadaye ndio zina differentiate but when the development continue they begin to differ that is adapt differently kwa mwanzoni kwa sababu zote zinakuwa within zinakuwa zin, zinakuwa zinategemea kwa kwa nutrient toka kwa mama au kama reptiles au birds wanategemea labda nutrient toka kwenye yoko ya egg kwa hiyo hapo ndipo ambapo zinaanza ku differ fish lizard and bird retain the tail while frog and man lose the tail frog lizard bed and man develop lungs and gill slits disappear while fish develop gills from gill slits the two chambered heart in embryos of frog lizard bed and man changes into four chambered heart similarly in earlier stage of these embryos suggest that organisms had a common central the difference that existed at later stages are is due to the organic evolution or adaptation to their environment kwa hiyo unaweza kaiona hiyo kwenye kitabu cha biological science page number 191 japo hicho kitabu ni cha advance lakini pia that is for reference pia haya maelezo na picha ya comparative embryology tunaiona hapo mbele kwa hiyo tunataka kujua hapo ni kwamba embryos wanakuwa nafanana when they compared the embryos at the same stage of development they were similar they looked similar so if the embryos they look similar means 
means that the organisms they had the same asset walikuwa wanafanana origin yake walikuwa wanafanana origin yake hii ndio diagram ambayo inaonyesha comparative embryology na kama ambavyo unaweza kaona hapo ni kwamba embryos zitoka huku na zinaelekea hivi hizi embryos hivyo kwa range ni kwa unaweza kaona tu mwenyewe hapo huyu ni fish huyu ni hasa hawa ni embryos kwamba huyu ni embryo wa fish huyu ni embryo wa lizard huyu ni kama embryo wa, wa kuku huyu ni embryo kwa haziendi hivi ni zinashuka hivi kwa unaweza kaona at this stage unaona ni zote zina gill slits hii hapa hii hapa gill slits hii hapa gill slit hii hapa gill slit gill slit hapa you see zote zinaonyesha zina hii hapa hii hapa mjikunje 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 so kinachokuja baadaye anakuta anaweza ku differentiate hii hapa gill slit inatengeneza gills ile pale ile pale you see Oh, wengine gill slit zinapoteza zinatengeneza lungs. Kwa mfano huyo kuku inaza lungs. Inaza lungs, inaza lungs. Na hivi hivyo ndivyo ambavyo embryo zinafanana. Zina Unaona A B C D E. Figure above show comparison of the embryonic development of variety of vertebrates. Each column represents three stages of development. A ni fish, B ni turtles, yani uh, toto zeni kobe c domestic fowl yani kuku d ni pig na e ni man not the remarkable similarity in the area stage of development so is similarity in donamanish ah but probably these all of these organism they were from the same origin all of these organism they were from the same origin that's why their embryos are comparable lakini like evidence appear ni evidence from paleontology paleontology ni study of fossil fossil ni kama mifupa fulani ya zamani so paleontology the study of fossil walivosoma mifupa ya zamani hugundua ile mifupa ya zamani kama inafanana hivi na viumbe ambao wako sasa kwa kwa nini inafanana kwa sababu wale viumbe wali undergo adaptation walikuwa na undergo evolution very slow kwa ndio maana inafanana lakini haiko exactly the same so fossil are the remains of plant and animal tissues that lived for many years ago or lived in the past so fossils are deposited and preserved in layers or strata of sedimentary rocks ko sedimentary rocks kwa alem na soma geography na kuta sedimentary rocks ni zero rocks ambazo zinakuwa made up of the layer layer ya daily organic matter au layer ya vitu mbalimbali fossil of the same species found in the same strata are regarded to have been formed at the same time kwa fossils zinazopatikana kwenye strata moja ni kwenye layer moja ya rock katika zile types of rock layer moja ya rock kwenye sedimentary rocks alaka lazima zilikuwa zimesedimented at the same time those which are found deeper at the lower strata look old and simple while those deposited very recently are found at the upper strata look very look new and are complex This suggests that the organism developed from simple to complex. Ko fossil ambazo ziko chini zinakuwa kwenye layer za chini. Unakuta ziko ziko zimezeeka old na pia ziko simple. Wakati fossil ambazo ziko kwenye layer za juu juu unakuta ni complex na pia zinaonekana ni new. The study of fossil has been used for two in the study of evolution. This is supported by the archaeology, the digging up of the remains of the past life that is called archaeology hiyo ni, ni history the fossil that are dug deeper in the sedimentary rocks are more like the primitive forms of life and those in the upper layer is in the recent rocks are more like modern forms of life so in this session i am ending up here in the next session tutaendelea na evidence ya tatu na kuendelea evidence ya organic evolution hapo don't forget to subscribe to the channel to share the video to your fellow students Uh, pia click the link below to join my telegram group kama una telegram app download telegram app free from play store then after downloading it create account kama video of create or sub share create click the link in the description below to join the all level discussion group and then there you will find the notes thank you everybody nice studies